Hey guys, uh, German service calls here again. Oh man, I hope everyone is having a wonderful evening. Uh, wow, huh? I know the you know the past. Let's see, what's today? Wednesday. Well, I know ever since Monday, things have been so so wild. Uh, well started out uh, my youngest daughter which you know I think you know I told y'all that you know she's fixed she's fixing to be a mom well Monday morning she goes to her doctor you know see what's going on all that good stuff well they they admitted her into the hospital with uh, pre preeclampsia and also the uh, the fluid and the amnio sac was low or something like that. So they went on ahead and admitted to the hospital. Uh, they started the Pitocin later on that evening. Well, anyways, you know, thought we was gonna have baby that night. No, not, not yet, uh, we didn't. Okay, Tuesday, get up. Uh, she used to, you know, still, she finally, okay, she finally dilated to a two, and, uh, you know, they've starting the drip, you know, kind of cranking it back up, you know, went on, you know, carry, went on through the night, you know, still, no, no baby. Oh, and, uh, with the baby, it's going to be a little girl. And her name is going to be Vivian Jewel. And this is my fourth grandbaby, so I'm excited. But anyways, uh, here it is Wednesday. Alright, uh, I've been, uh, you know, keeping in touch, you know, my son-in-law. He's been filling me in on everything, letting me know what's going on. Well, anyways, you know, she, uh, they started her back on the Pitocin drip, and she dilated to the thir to a three. And every time she started having a contraction, the baby's heart heart rate would drop. So you know, yeah, I got scared. I got panicky. Uh, my service dog was starting to alert, and you know, it was just you know, just freaking me out. I guess. Because, you know, I had difficulty with my oldest daughter and, you know, my youngest. You know, both my both my girls. But, anyways, you know, things, uh, you know, after I, you know, after I talked it out with my mom and my oldest daughter and my son-in-law, I felt, you know, started feeling better. Well, here it is. It is. 8:41, and uh you know my daughter she's still well she's at a uh she's still she's dilated to six and a half and all and the last i heard uh you know they're supposed to come in check her stuff like that but yeah her and the baby are doing fine uh my son-in-law doing fine but uh <laughs> yeah the past two or three days have been really interesting i'm sorry it's late i just got done door dashing and i'm just you know just trying to you know earn, earn you know just trying to earn some more some money but anyways guys um i will let y'all know just as soon as my granddaughter gets here and I hope everybody has a wonderful night. And uh, just, uh, but yeah, just, you know, pray for my daughter. I mean, you know, I guess pray for my daughter, pray for my granddaughter. You know, I just, all I want, I want my granddaughter, you know, you know, 10, you know, 10 little fingers, 10 toes, rosy cheeks. I just want her to be healthy. That's all I want. 
And, but yeah, I pray for my daughter, pray, pray for my granddaughter, pray for my son-in-law. But, and I will definitely let y'all know when she gets here. So, remember guys, like, share, subscribe. I love y'all.